everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and I hope you had a really lovely week and I would like to show you how I made this card now when it stands up, and I couldn't stand it up before because you would be able to see it's like a bay window shape so I have called this a bay window shaped card it does lay flat and go into a nice envelope this is a 7x5 inches um, this is not my design, I will admit that 100% it was by a lady named Maria Taylor and she made this card and I have actually got it here let me if I can grab it over here and I have done it in the size that she did it in which is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters so it's a fair bit bigger as you can see and it means you have to make a special envelope for it I mean it's a beautiful card don't get me wrong I'm not not knocking it at all and I do appreciate the fact that she spent the time making this card so um, there I have three of them I've made and I've made the envelope to go with them where this one you will fit into a regular size envelope so that's the three there this was her original one which I copied to the T sort of thing um, and that's my idea of cutting it down to a reg regular size card which makes it easier for everybody so I'm using the lovely new set called where is it Pampered Pets um, this is absolutely gorgeous it has got dies that come with it to cut out your cats and your dogs so and it does actually cut on the the designer series paper it actually matches these as well so you can cut them out rather than cutting them out paint um coloring them in the other set that i'm going to use with this one is just the peaceful moments for the happy birthday because i've put a happy birthday up here and i'm using the stitch nested label dies um, i've taken out the ones i need so i can show you which size we need so let me show you what parts we need for this and don't forget if you want the written tutorial you need to head over to Dye Stand for stamping, crafting and tutorials. The tutorial is written in inches with centimetres on the side. So let me pop that one over there on the side and we'll, I'll go through what we need. Okay so I'm just going to turn this lot over. This is easier. So we need two pieces and I'm using basic black that measures seven inches by five inches because so we're doing a seven by five card then we need an ins for our insert we need another layer in red that measures six and i can't read that from that far away i haven't got my glasses on today six and a quarter by four and three quarters and then a white layer that measures six inches by four and a half inches for the front panels you're going to need two panels in the uh, um, a red that measure four and three quarters by two and one quarter and then two panels in the white which I've already done one so that we don't need to sit here and watch me colour it all in but these two panels measure four and a half by two inches my middle panel for the middle of my card measures four and three quarter inches by three quarters of an inch with a piece of design a piece of paper that measures four and a half by half an inch so that's the card for the kennel the kennel that's on the front here um i will show you that's because so i've had to build that up myself okay so you need to have oh gosh um for the oh well they're going to start with the stopper the stopper here actually for the stopper here that holds this open right we need two pieces of card one in black and one in red and I use the let me have a look um, the third and the fourth size up from the smallest so that's the third side and that's the fourth side so we need the fourth size in the black and the third size in the red so we've done the then one so that's for the stopper um, and they come out of a piece of card that measures three inches by two inches and two and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches um, this was a bit longer because it was my scrap bit that was left over so that's that um, for the kennel we need 
another piece of in the red that measures four and a quarter by two and a half. Again, this was a bit left over, so it's a little bit bigger. And you need the sixth size in the um, red. Excuse me, I'm having a mental blank here. As you can see, what I was talking about with the die here on on the picture, but I mean we're using the opposite side. So my design of this piece of paper, which has got the red stripes on the white background, now you need a piece that measures three and a half by two inches, and that's using the fourth size of those. So we can pop those out of the way, as I've already done that. We also need. Oh, I've never lost a bit. I've lost a bit here somewhere, and I don't know what I've done with it, so I will actually have to go and check out what I did with that. You will need two pieces for the roof that measure one and three quarter inches by half an inch, and you will need, which I can cut out of this piece here, for the door that measures one and a half inches by one inch. So let's move that out of the way. And I'll pop that over here, and I will just bring my trimmer in, and I'll cut this out of this piece that's left over. Oh, there we go. So we need this to be one and a half inches. Let's turn it that way. Which is going to be just under, believe it or not. But that's not going to be a problem. By one inch. There we go. So that's our door. I have one tiny scrap left over and I'll probably find it somewhere lying around so anyway so that's our door and that's all our pieces now it's going to look like a lot of pieces so what we're going to do first is we're going to assemble the card so I will bring these in and you will need another piece of scrap in the white just for stamping your dogs or if you're doing cats you can do cats so let's get stuck into this we're going to use the first sheet and um, actually what we're going to do first I think is we're going to actually do all our stamping because that way <clears throat> all my stamping is then done and that's going to be the easiest way so this is our insert and my insert has a dog on the inside and it says I hope you have hope your day is a real treat so I will show you how we did this for, oh sorry I'm out of the screen um, I will show you how we did this first oops and then we will carry on with the rest so I'm bringing in my insert piece and my memento black and I'm going to stamp my dog down in the left hand corner here and I'm going to stamp my saying which says I hope I'm not too close to the right hand side so above and just just virtually above him so that's our stamping on that piece let's pop that on one side to dry we're going to stamp our happy birthday on our other panel that matches the, the one with the um, hearts on it so we're going to stamp that at the top and then I'm going to stamp some hearts down the side here like so so that's my hearts done then on my scrap piece I'm going to, to do my dog again front forward and my back facing dog and I forgot to tell you that I'm going to also do another half of the dog I'm just going to do <clears throat> let's see let me just grab a piece of paper just doing the head of another dog here so we're going to do another head of the dog here and then we're going to do so we've done that bit we don't need that piece of scrap paper now and we're going to stamp three dog bowls and that's all our stamping now so we'll go through that one more time so you can see what I've got we've got our dog and our um, insert 
on what the biggest piece of white card which is <clears throat> excuse me um six by four and a half on our front panel which we've done the other one we stamped hearts on that one this one we stamped our happy birthday and the rest of the hearts and then on our scrap we did a forward facing dog a backward facing dog three dog bowls and half a dog so we will colour in this dog here and this half a dog and the bowls so that I can show you what we need to do for those. i just move that out of the way so I can get them. Okay, so I used my light and dark crumb cake for my dog. So I will show you what I did. I coloured my dog in using the light uh, crumb cake. Now your dog can be any colour you like, it doesn't have to be crumb cake or brown. If you wanted a red dog, you can have a red dog. There's no ifs or buts that say there can't be anything but a dog colour. And the only reason I'm doing this one and not the others because I will do the other ones afterwards. And mum can have them because at the moment my mum's in hospital. Um, by the time this goes live she will be home um, as she's supposed to be coming home today um, so and she I purchased this set in the morning and mum wanted it so she she purchased it in the afternoon and she's having to have to wait for hers how terrible isn't that you know same day and one person can get it and the other person can't Okay, so then we're doing a bit of shading down one side. So I'm shading on the left hand side of my dog. Down his back and his tail. Around his leg. And his front leg here. And down beside this body. And here on his snout. So, and now then I go back over it with my light crumb cake which makes it look like there's nothing there at the moment but once the, the um, alcohol actually dries out it all blends in beautifully and you can see the blending a heap better so we do this one here same way. I'm not going to do the other dogs as I said. I will do them after. That's those. I was using my dark grey granite for his nose. I don't like a black nose. And I'm also going to do that for shadowing around the dog here so that he looks like he's sitting on the ground. And then I will use my real red, dark, back to the light, dark. And I'm using the, the tip end, the writing tip end, just to go in his collar. And the same in this one here. And then with the light one, what I'm doing is I'll go with the normal side. We're going to colour this in his bowls. And then we will use the dark one just to put an edge on the side of the bowls so that it looks rounded like so. There we go. And then we will cut them out. So I have actually cut out him already and I've cut him out. He looks like this. He's on an angle here. So we will see how that's going I have three bowls and I have a forward and a reverse dog there so we we'll pop this one on the side so we can finish that off later I will color in my with my dark real red here and the the pointed end just color in my hearts because I can't do them any other way 
then once I've done this we're ready for construction okie dokie so I will turn you off for a second and I will be back so while I was away that little bit I glued my white layer onto my red layer and I glued my other white layer onto my other red layer here so that all of that is done so let's get stuck in and we're going to start with our the back of our card but in, there's no other way of putting it the back of the card because the two pieces of the card actually get stuck together and we're going to glue our two layers for the insert onto our back layer now this is going to be a lot shorter as you can see so we need to put it so that our edge around these three, two sides match up and there's a big gap on this side like a three quarters of, of no half inch gap there is half inch gap on this side and that is meant to be like that so don't go thinking oh my goodness I've cut it wrong so we pop that on one side and we will bring in our let's move my dogs and everything so I don't lose them and we'll bring in our front of our card and our scoreboard and we will score our front of our card together okay now I've got to find my measurements here and my measurements go a half inch on the long side so this is the long side here so we're going to go a half an inch at three inches at four inches and at six and a half inches and that's all our scoring done so let's move that out of the way and we will score these lines and we're scoring from the short line it's a valley fold And then the next line is a mountain fold. And the next one in after that is a mountain fold. And the far end one is a valley fold. So you've got two valleys on the end and two mountains in the middle. It's very hard to see on the black. So two valley folds and two mountain folds. We are now going to glue our panels onto our card. And I didn't. Let's glue this one onto this little bit of designer series paper and once again if you're using a designer series paper that has a direction make sure you get your direction correct otherwise it can look really quite strange so and after you've put all that effort in you wouldn't like to think that you put it on wrong okay so we're going to put our panels on here onto the front of the card so our two and whatever they are hang on I can't can't read and write at the same time um let's see these panels are the two and a quarter by four and three quarters and they go in between on our panels on the side one on that side one on the left and one on the right And then we will get our designer series paper one and we pop this down the middle. Making sure we have our designer series up the right way. Like, oh, that's a bit, it's a bit skew with. That's not very straight at all. My goodness, where's my mind? That's better okay so that's our card pieces and that's how it's going to go so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some glue on the left hand side it's the left hand side here of this tab so we're going to glue this tab on the left hand side here and we're going to glue it to this side here this left hand side and we're going to make sure that it lines up top and bottom and the sides so that it's 
looks like it's one piece of card. There we go. How gorgeous does that look? So while that's drying, a second, I'll just pop that there for a second, we will then get our two stopper pieces of card. Now these, I've made mine this shape, but if you wanted to make yours a different shape, that's fine. There's no, oh, I don't want that shape. So you just make them the shape you want them. If you'd like square ones or rectangular ones or circles, ovals, that's fine. You don't need to have them this shape. I just like them this shape. So I've glued those two together and now I'm going to put some dimensions on the back of the black one. Now I've only got the mini ones because I forgot to order the larger ones when I went did my order. So I try and only put in an order once a month. So I'm going to have to make do until August. Because now that I'm actually retired and have no income, as I took a redundancy package, I can um, I only have my redundancy money to get me through for a while. So I have to be a little bit more frugal with my spending. So I'm going to now pop this card up on this angle so that I can work out where I would like. Oops, I forgot to tell you, you don't put them on that side there. Move them over a bit. That's better. So we've got a bit of a gap here. Sorry about that. Oops. Oops. I forgot. So what we're going to do, as I said, is we're going to pop this up on an angle which you feel is a comfortable angle for you. And with that one side that's not stuck down being on the left-hand side. So that when that sits in there like so, it holds it in place and that's not straight and I don't like not straight that's better that's straight so that's how he's going to sit like so I'm going to put a couple of these um, dog bowls on to here so that that way we can say the inside of our card is done then So I'm popping a couple of dog bowls that I've to, and I had to fussy cut these out because they don't have a, a punch, a, a die for them. So that is our card. So let's pop that on the one side and we will work on our kennel. Now this is our kennel. Oops, we don't need that bit. So that can go in the rubbish. That can go up there. We have our two pieces of our roof and we have our two pieces for our kennel and our door. For my door, I have used my half round for the corners and I'm going to just pop that in there and round the two top corners of my door. So that's that done and we're then we're going to glue our striped um, designer series paper closer to the top so whatever the gap is on either side we need that same gap at the top here it's not going to worry about this bit because we're going to be cutting that bit off so we've popped that onto there like so and let's move those bits out of the way because we're going to bring in our trimmer and we're going to pop this in our trimmer so that the point here nearest the top is at the two and a half inch mark so which is about there and we're going to cut the other piece right off the bottom so we look like we've got a kennel then that bit is scrap so it can go in the bin okay we're going to now put our roof on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of glue along these two sides here at the top sides and I'm going to pop this hold this in my hand it's just easier Pop this into, glue this onto here, 
like so and then I can pop a bit more glue across the top here like that and have this one on the same angle but matching up here at the top that way we have like a roof now I didn't like mine coming down straight so I actually cut mine from this corner just up straight just to give it that look of proper eaves on the roof if you're like me you've got a little bit hanging over the top here I'm just going to chop that piece off too yeah, whoops. there we go now we're going to pop our door on and that's our kennel done how easy was our kennel that was so easy to do pop him in so that he's flush with the bottom of the kennel and nice and easy just like my other one I just turned that over because I wasn't sure what I did there next um, I put another dimension on the other dog bowl and I pop that onto the front of my kennel down the bottom here just so that he's sitting there and then my half a dog what I did is I cut him on an angle across here so that I can then pop him here so he looks like he's looking out of the kennel at his bowl of food so I just whoops glue him down onto the kennel um, depending on the angle that you cut it on will depend on how much he's looking out and how you know whether he's more out of the, or not so that's my dog looking out of the kennel door so I will bring in my card again now on this one I put the kennel up, up a bit so I'm thinking I might put the kennel down the bottom and put my dogs up the top a bit more what do you think Yes, I think I like it like that. So I'm going to do this one that way. Okay, so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue down the middle of my kennel on the back. So I can then glue him, let's put move my, glue him into place down the bottom of my kennel. Now you don't want to put it right across, don't forget, because you want this to be roughly in the centre so that it sticks out on either side like so can you see that yep and we'll pop some dimensions onto the back of my dogs oops this one these little ones they're just so tiny they actually stick to my fingers oh, that one went upside down even this one at the same time and we're going to then just lay this flat I'll turn it around the other way so it's just easier for me to position them this dog up here get off my finger <laughs> oh dear oh no I didn't get that one off oh yes I did and this one I'm going to pop just about I need to pop him on an angle just to get him in there just about there so he's just underneath the kennel when he's laying down flat. <clears throat> and that's our card for today. What do you think? I think he's absolutely gorgeous. That's the one we did. And this is my other one. So you can see I've, I've changed it by moving the kennel. 
which I think I think I like the kettle better at the bottom here than at the upper bit but again that's just preference and it's such a beautiful card it will fit into a 7x5 envelope it lays flat so it will go nicely into an envelope for postage <coughs> and it's so if you have enjoyed my video and you would like the written tutorial for this please head over to Dye's Den for stamping crafting and tutorials on my Facebook group there you can download the, the tutorial <clears throat> and uh, it is written with imperial measurements with centimeters on the side so it has both on there so um, if you like that I'd love to see you join my group give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and I will see you again next week bye for now